Hello, I am Joshua P. Warren, and this is Joshua P. Warren Daily. And I have some important audio to share with you in this particular edition of the podcast. No matter where you are in the world, this is audio that will help you as you continue to experience what is happening and what is going to happen over the coming weeks. So you really need to pay attention to this, and this is something that will enrich your life. But before I get to that audio, I want to explain something. I want to share something and, uh, or maybe remind you of something, depending on the circumstances, that's very important for all of us to keep in mind right now. And yes, I am going to refer back to my book, Use the Force, A Jedi's Guide to the Law of Attraction, and I'm going to go to page 103, and here is what I wrote, which is manifesting right now. It is absolutely true that as your exercises proceed and you become even more aware of your environment, your sensitivity to the balance around you will also increase. In fact, there will be days when no matter how clear and positive your visions and intentions may be, it seems the entire force is simply in a rocky state. Remember that you live in concert with the universe, but that does not mean you control it. There will be days when you wake up and everything seems to go wrong one incident after another. However, it is at those times that it is most important for you to use the force, doing your best to readjust things around you, bending them back to the positive world you want to experience. This brings us to an extremely important point in the process. And listen to this. As you change the world, some things must break down so that others can be born. I'm going to repeat that. As you change the world, some things must break down so that others can be born. Throughout your entire life, you've heard conventional wisdom like every cloud has a silver lining or as Helen Keller and many others have said, when one door closes, another opens. Well, up until now, you may have felt these kinds of sentiments were just condolences, a last attempt to cheer up someone in hopeless circumstances. However, you now must understand completely that these phrases are true. You cannot move forward in your life and also stay in the same position change is required. Everything in the universe exists in a state of balance. If nothing else, the scientific method has confirmed this again and again. Each time we have been able to examine, test, and experiment with a closed controlled system, we see the marvelous symmetry as energy transforms from one state to another but always remains present. This is stated as the law of conservation of energy, that energy can be neither created nor destroyed but it can change form. The purpose of using the force is to affect the world around you. That means you are producing change in your personal system or set of experiences. When your wish begins to take hold and rearrange the world to suit your fancy, energy will be removed from some places and transferred to others. That means you must expect to see some things break down and disappear in order for the new circumstances to evolve. It is important that you keep a clear head and do not panic as this happens. Humans are used to experiencing change. It will occur in some form, whether you like it or not, throughout life. But when you use the force 
that rate of change is accelerated and things will happen according to the intense directives you have transmitted as opposed to some more diffuse mix of intentions which is what generally happens around most untrained people. Okay, so that's the end of that passage from my book, Use the Force, A Jedi's Guide to the Law of Attraction. You see what I'm saying in a nutshell here. There is no way for things to improve without change. And change means that the old system breaks down. And boy, are we seeing that right now. So this is not a time to panic. It is just a time to realize that we are transforming. And because that there are so many of you who are out there injecting this positive energy into this situation, I feel that we are shifting that balance of transformation so that when all this shifts and settles, it will actually be better for all of you, all of us, you see? But you can't have new growth, new birth without that transformation taking process. And it's scary and it sucks, but just realize what's happening. And again, protect your personal circle because that's all you can do. So I think it's important to point that out first off, right off the bat, again, to at least remind you of that so that you can take what is going to happen over the coming weeks in, in stride, so to speak. And uh, who knows what's going to happen. Every single day is, is a new <laughs> it's a new crazy unpredictable thing but that is what happens when the universe shifts and changes but you just keep your head and your circle and your energy in the right place and you'll be okay so let's get on to the first piece of audio that I want to play for you and this is actually actually kind of funny because you have heard me talk for years about Vance Pollock and Vance has been a great friend of mine for a long, long time. And I could go on and on and on about, you know, the things we've done and, and his resume and all that. Uh, but, but actually, uh, you know, I guess the main thing I can tell you about Vance is that, you know, I call him Sherlock Pollock because this guy has an uncanny sort of synchronicity that just crackles throughout his life. He is the best forensic historian that I've ever met and right now I guess because he's you know more or less on lockdown like most people are that uh, he, he has put out an offer to say hey if you have a, uh, a mystery that you want to solve let's say that there's some person connected to your life that you've always wondered about and you'd like to finally get the real scoop you can hire him for as little as $30 to, to dig into the records and the archives and give you information on the story of this person and I have seen him do this over and over and over again he's my go-to guy for this I'm telling you he's number one in the world and uh, I learned so much about my great uncle Claude Calloway, who just vanished, you know, in the blink of an eye, uh, by having Vance go in there and dig up records and, and, you know, show us everything that he could find about what happened leading up to that moment. So, uh, and also, you know, Vance, to give you an idea of how highly I think of Vance. You know, I created the Speaking of Strange radio show and did that for something like 15 years. And finally, I got to the point where I, I just didn't have the time to host it anymore. I was going to continue producing it. And as soon as I decided I couldn't host it, I went to one person and one person only and, and, and said, would you like to take over and host this show? And that was Vance Pollock. So if you have some kind of a mystery lingering out there in your life 
that you know related to a person it doesn't matter if it's a family member or just anybody you know um i want you to email me contact at joshua p warren.com contact at joshua p warren.com and in a few sentences kind of say what what you're interested in in investigating and i'll forward that straight to vance and if he has the time and he's interested in your story well this is your opportunity so anyway Vance hosts this show called Riffin in which he gets uh well he 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 has a a broad spectrum of musical interests but he's especially interested in like garage bands and stuff like he's the guy who goes out to yard sales and is just hoping that somebody will have a cardboard box that's been in the attic or the basement for decades that has some recording of you know some you know group of teenagers from the 1960s or whatever that um that maybe maybe they never went anywhere but he he loves just like that's gold you know for him just loves digging into that kind of stuff so his show called riffin is airing in Asheville North Carolina on Asheville FM and I believe uh, it's 103.3 FM in Asheville, North Carolina. So Vance, he's been doing this show for years, and he contacted me, and he said, "Um, I'm trying to get some PSAs, some public service announcements that we can put into rotation for people who, you know, everybody's sitting at home, and a lot of people are just sitting at home listening to the radio, Maybe, you know, who knows what they're doing. But he said, it'd be great to have a PSA from you, you know, from me. Um, and so uh, I thought, well, well, that's a great honor. So uh, it had to be 60 seconds or less. And I thought about it. And so I sat down at his request and I recorded a 60 second public service announcement and then I sent it off to Vance and uh, guess what apparently from what I understand everybody's cool with it at the station and if you were in Asheville North Carolina listening to 103.3 FM the uh, you know Asheville FM you might be listening to the radio and hear this public service announcement but before I play this for you I want to tell you that it ends with a really strange comment and it's kind of a, it, it, it's like an easter egg regarding one of my favorite movies and so some people will hear this and scratch their head and say uh i don't know <laughs> what is that uh, did i so i'm going to be really interested to see how many of you get this reference um at the end of my psa it's a little you know it's a little funny obscure thing Maybe it's not that obscure. I don't know. But after I play the PSA for you, then I'll explain my last little line of the PSA. So anyway, here it is. Here is the Joshua P. Warren public service announcement that is going to be playing on FM radio in Asheville, North Carolina. Here we go. I'm Joshua P. Warren, author of Haunted Asheville and owner of the Haunted Asheville Ghost Tours. My family has been in this area for hundreds of years, and we've endured some of the greatest wars and plagues in American history. Every time, it sucked, and it sucks right now. But the world has never ended, and we came out stronger each time. So now is the time for you to focus on the things you love and the people you love. Please take this as an opportunity to spread your love and positivity and be reminded of those things that are truly important in your life. Soon, this will all just be a bad memory and harsh lesson. So remember how this feels so we can use this to make the world a better place when it's all over. I love you and a lot of people love you. That is my message. And uh, oh, also, people are not wearing enough hats okay so you know not too bad right not too shabby and (laughs) 
what do you think I meant by, you know, uh, everybody needs to be wearing more hats, right? Well, um, <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a second. If you know what it is, tell the person you're with, oh, I know what that is. Go ahead. Okay. That is a reference to the Monty Python movie called The Meaning of Life that was released in 1983 and you have this scene where uh and, and and i'm telling you if you haven't watched the meaning of life it's not for kids all right but if you haven't watched the meaning of life the monty python movie now is a better time than ever to watch that film it, it, because you have to it, you, really folks we have to laugh a little bit and we have to have some you know a little a little bit of uh, levity and a sense of humor about things or, or otherwise you'll go bonkers so there that is a reference to this scene where you have a bunch of businessmen who are sitting in like a big corporate boardroom and it it actually says on a sign at, over the top the very big corporation of america which is funny because when you actually hear the guys talking monty python is an english comedy troupe and so they're 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 poking fun at at the usa and so they are portraying a group of american businessmen sitting around a big boardroom table and yet uh, in the in the very beginning of, of this part of the movie um i guess the chairman of the board uh says something like here's what's on our agenda uh, blah, blah, <laughs> which which is a dead giveaway that this is not an american boardroom because we say agenda in this country and for some reason people in england say agenda they add like an r on the end i don't know what the story is behind that but to help you understand a little bit about what the context of that whole thing is like you know everybody should be wearing more hats here is the audio for you from that scene in the movie the meaning of life <laughs> brings us once again to the urgent realization of just how much there is still left to own. Item six on the agenda, the meaning of life. Now, uh, Harry, you've had some thoughts on this. That's right, yeah, I've had a team working on this over the past few weeks, and uh, what we've come up with can be reduced to two fundamental concepts. One, people are not wearing enough hats. Two, matter is energy. In the universe, there are many energy fields which we cannot normally perceive. Some energies have a spiritual source which act upon a person's soul. However, this soul does not exist ab initio as orthodox Christianity teaches. It has to be brought into existence by a process of guided self-observation. However, this is rarely achieved owing to man's unique ability to be distracted from spiritual matters by everyday trivia. What was that about hats again? Oh, uh, people aren't wearing enough. Is this true? Uh, certainly. The hat sales have increased, but not peri pursuers. Our research but initiatives... Wouldn't enough? Enough for what purpose? Can I just ask with reference to your second point? When you say souls don't develop because people become distracted... Has anyone noticed that building there before? So you can see it's just, you know, it, it's just silly stuff. Uh, but right now, we're all sitting at home, right? And I mean, it, it's kind of nice to have some silly stuff that you can latch on to. And uh, I say we all are, but, you know, I, I'm a bit of an exception. I'm still bouncing in and out working on these TV uh, projects. But I think it's a very important time for all of us to sort of focus as Jedis or potential Jedis on really getting a positive meditative mindset 
down pat. And that's why I was so struck when a woman in Ireland named Ursula Burns, who has been following my work for some time, she has a wishing machine, uh, sent me some messages about what she has been doing as a professional musician because Ursula Burns is a fantastic harpist. Yes, she has a big harp and she plays it beautifully. And she was really inspired by the sigil that I put out there to bring harmony to help end this coronavirus scare. And you can imagine, uh, you know, this is a lady who had, you know, God knows how many gigs lined up and then all of a sudden, boom, like that, it's gone. Uh, those gigs are gone because people aren't going out and having the opportunity to enjoy live music anymore. So as a person who is a manifester, who is, is working with these tools there in Ireland, um, she, she, she sat down and sort of meditated on the sigil and decided to transform what she felt from the sigil into harp music and my god you know she sent this to me and it is mesmerizing and and if you put on earbuds or headphones and listen to this it's like a cleansing i mean you you just feel so much weight come off of your your shoulders as a matter of fact i want to read to you right now what she wrote on her brand new patreon site um, and patreon is a site where you can go and you can subscribe and that's what i did i subscribed to her uh and basically when you subscribe to somebody well you're you know you're giving a certain amount of money per month and then in return you know you get all this wonderful artistic content and and that is the key you know i don't care if it's visual or if it's coming to you through your ears or whatever we can can ultimately use art and the power of art in order to create that force field around us and uh, uh, of course you know what is art I, you know i'm not going to sit here and tell you that i can define what art is any more than i can define what humor is but it is something that affects you mentally and physically and spiritually and it creates a reaction and anytime you can create a reaction in the human brain it shifts the way that your your consciousness is sort of radiating out there so art is one form of creating a, a great bubble of positivity around all of us to help us through these transitions. So here's what she wrote. Um, this particular piece, it's called Mind Over Matter. She said, I have been waking every night at around 3 p.m. It's hard, and I, I mean, she said 3 p.m. Maybe it's 3 a.m. I'm not sure. But anyway, she goes, it's hard to fend off the fear in the night. At that point, I'm always more concerned about the forces of control than the virus itself. On a physical and mental level, we need to take control of our immune systems. The image of the coronavirus is everywhere and it projects fear into our subconscious and lowers our immune system. We can activate and raise our frequency so we are not a match for this virus. I have in the last week had symptoms, but I will not allow it to take hold. I have been self-isolating for over 10 days now and it's really tough. The fear is almost worse than the virus. I am actively working to transform the fear by taking control of what I can control. My thoughts, my environment, my health. 
the image above and she has a picture of the sigil there the image above was sent to me by joshua p warren who designed it as an antidote to the coronavirus image we see that image everywhere now on the news on our computers on articles it's everywhere on all media he recommended printing this image out and using it to counteract the media image of the coronavirus I don't have a printer but I tuned into his image and recorded this piece of music on my iPhone to match the image I'm sorry I'm not a tech whiz kid and I hope the quality of the sound is okay it is the energy and the intention to liberate your subconscious from the constant attack be aware of every time that coronavirus image is reflected at you and reduce that form of media I have a feeling the war we are fighting is indeed invisible and not just the obvious one I don't know if Joshua's image or this music works for you but become aware of what it is projecting into your environment because that is what is being absorbed into your subconscious and is creating your reality we are more powerful than we know it's time to take control start with cleaning up what you allow in your radar aim to clean up your space start small and observe I think this antidote image looks like a virus gobbling dragon it has an old-fashioned sail allowing the air to carry it to where oxygen is needed then it can breathe oxygen into your lungs and beautiful cleansing fire into your environment to burn up any lower energies or attack it is imaginary work when I do feel any fear I look at it take a deep breath and choose to feel better find what works for you to take control and transform the energy from fear to love that is what Ursula Burns wrote in Ireland and I'm about to play for you she gave me permission to play for you this 10 minute piece of music that she created on the harp and being a professional she she was she said oh I, I apologize I, I just you know she goes I'm used to being in a professional studio with engineers and this is just something that I recorded in my kitchen with an iPhone which I think makes it even better makes it even more special because this is something that's just raw and genuine and organic coming straight from her heart and I think it sounds wonderful so if you want to help support a fellow Jedi you know go to my Twitter at Joshua P Warren and you'll find a link to her patreon there and so you can do what I did and subscribe and hey even if it's just until all of this virus shit is over with fine you know help help support a fellow Jedi because she is now helping us to embrace the energy I created this image for you and and as you well know you know this was a whole long process that I took that you know it was a combo effort between me and Lauren to work together and create this image for you and now she has taken that image and she has transformed it into music so now your senses can get really filled with this so what I found is that I like to look at something that I love and uh, you know it's just like for example just yesterday I was out there looking at the Sun just about to rise over the mountains um, ringing Las Vegas at, with all these sort of pinkish purplish clouds and colors just sort of gradually emerging I, I, I was looking at that and then I had my computer sitting there with the image of the sigil and I had earbuds in and I was listening to her music and it was just like whoa what what a breath of fresh air I mean like this 
I, I think that the music she created is is such a great representation that even when aside from this podcast and again i'm going to play this for you but i after this i'm going to do a post on this podcast that's just nothing but her music it's just that 10 minute clip of her music so that way you know you can go to the buzzsprout page where i upload my podcast and you can just download it as an mp3 and then you can plug it into any of your devices or whatever and it you don't have to worry about trying to find this music in the middle of this particular podcast so again i'm going to play this for you now but uh after this there will be another posting that's just nothing but the music by itself so you can download that and do with it what you want um so thank you very much ursula and you know what ursula created this for you okay i want you to think about that she created that for you she created that for me she created this music for us i gave away the sigil freely to the world she is giving this music to all of us and through art through imagination through positivity we can keep ourselves in a good place as this transformation occurs and we we watch things break down so that a new world can be born so before I play this, um, I just want to say once again to all of you, you know, thank you so much for doing what you're doing in your neck of the woods. I hope, I hope, I hope that you are sharing this podcast with everybody that you know and trying to explain to them, you know, what we're doing here. And I hope that anybody who's interested will... Uh, go to joshuapwarren.com, subscribe to the free e-newsletter there so I can keep you updated as things develop there. It takes you two seconds. You get a free digital good luck charm that comes to you instantly when you subscribe to the free e-newsletter. While you're at joshuapwarren.com, click around. See some of the wild stuff there. Yes, please, go to the curiosity shop. Look at some of the handcrafted, unique, one-of-a-kind manifestation items that we have there. But click the link to this podcast called Joshua P. Warren Daily. It's always short, always free, commercial-free, independent, and independent. That, that's a big thing. Independent's a big, big thing. So look, thank you for listening. Thank you for your interest and support. Thank you for staying curious. And now, please enjoy Mind Over Matter by our friend, our fellow Jedi, Ursula Burns. Here you are. Here it goes.
Thank mm-hmm. you.